So you know the funny thing? When you start using your bigger lights, you start seeing all types of little flies and bugs flying around your space. So we are finally going to break down this beast. You are now tuned in to the big boy Shaoba McCoy and today we are going to break down this Ronin S setup, this massive Ronin S build. But before we get into it, hit that like, subscribe and notification button. So I was supposed to do this video more than a year ago, but I wasn't ready yet. I didn't have the confidence to get in front of the camera. It happens. Even still, better late than never. What I'm going to do is give you a quick rundown of all the parts for this build. On the top is the GH5 and a small rig cage, a speed booster, the 18 to 35. Also inside here is a variable ND filter. I put a video out about how you have to get a certain ring for the variable ND filter. So hopefully you guys see that video and you go get that. Right now, I think I'm gonna scratch my um, script. Been a long day, I'm just gonna go off the top of the head. That's what I'm gonna do sometimes. So as well, on the top of the, of the Ronin S, I have the top bracket. They said it helps it to keep it more stable, so I got that. On the hot shoe, I put the, the GPS module but that module will help keep the horizon on the camera. I'm a novice at this, so I went for it too. Why not? Now you might see I have the Tilted Nucleus M motor right here. I wasn't gonna try to use that Ronin S motor. I felt that was a hard time to be holding a gimbal like this here and pulling focus. That's too much, I wanted two handles. See, this thing's heavy. So I wasn't gonna do that, right? So what I did, I got this very special cord that allows me to power the Tilta Nucleus M motor through the Ronin S. I show you guys where to get that cord. Now also, I put the small rig base plate on the bottom of this um, Ronin S and I added some counterweights just, just to do it. They was there, why not? There's a counterweight on the, on, the, on the right hand side as well. The collar is from small rig. It allows me to put the dog bones with the rosettes and so I can attach the tilt to nucleus handles. I like it like this because if it's closer in to me, it makes it feel like you have more control. When the handles are out like this here, I, don't, I feel you, you don't have as much control. You know, you, you're kind of shaky, you know, you're kind of shaky with it. I ain't want to be that shaky with it. I like it like I'm more like compact so I can move better. So I like that. I also have in the back this um, handle from Small Rig because this handle at the time, real talk, at the time, I was having Zion Crane Envy too because they had that handle and I wanted to have, I wanted to be able to go down like this here, down like that. But this handle serves a different purpose for myself. Yeah, that's cool to go under, like under like that real fast. What I find is by putting the handle back there and I can like lay it on my shoulder and it gives me another point of contact. And with this close end and like that, I like this, man. I feel real secure. I can hold it for a lot longer. So yeah, I can move it real fast. I also put the command unit right here. Cause I, I, I didn't see myself using my phone to um, change the settings and do that stuff. I don't like that stuff. Too much work, too much work. So I gave you the, the handles. I gave you the, the dog bones from Small Rig, rosette mount. So I guess we can go down to the bottom. So the bottom of this rig, I have the sled, right? This mount of the sled, the bottom, if you can see that. And this dude made this. I didn't make that. I didn't come up with it, but I saw it. I saw it was dope. Cause I had a Ninja Inferno and I was trying to figure out how I'm gonna get that big monitor on this here. Cause I like that monitor a lot. So then I, I sucked it up and I got the Ninja 5, Ninja V, whatever you want to call that thing. Cause it was a little smaller. And this guy created this mount. So he has the base plate with two small carbon fiber rods and this rod mount. You can see this rod mount right here, right? And this rod mount attaches to a, a natal rail and like a dual, I put this dual natal rail clamp on it. That way I have more swivel. I can swivel the monitor a little different and stuff. And it works out well. Another side note, because I have the sled at the bottom, I don't need a tripod. I just sit it down. I like that. 
It works out good for me. So that's the whole build in a nutshell. I think more important for me is I like the fact I had a script, but I kind of didn't use the script. That tells me I can get this thing done a lot faster. I'm digging that. Personal growth is always important. Personal growth, right? So what I am going to do, I saw these dudes from um, Three Folds. I was watching Three Folds this morning. And I was like, man, I was a Ben did this video, but they did it already. They put on the universal mount. I need that. So I ordered that today because ideally this is too big, too long for me. The um, the handle part because the, the center of gravity sits up here. If I had that mount, it would lower the center of gravity. It would make it more compact. So that's how I have more control of the whole package. Because I also have the, um, I'll show you. Hold on, let me get it. I got this a long, long time ago. As soon as the Rona X came out, ooh, falling. I went and got that vest. That vest from, from gear something, what is that? Glide gear, glide gear vest. But I never really used the vest because when you put the vest on and the Ronin S, it sits up too high. I didn't like that. So I'm hoping that when I get the Clap is crazy. When I get the universal mount, I'll be able to then use that vest because the vest does work well in terms of key helping you keep the camera level when you're walking. All you have to do is tune it the right way, but it does work really well. So I like that. So that's about it. This is more, I guess, basic. You know, I'm still gonna chop it. Still, still do what I do. If you have a better build, let me know. Educate the dude, but also hit that like and subscribe button because your boy is doing good. I enjoy you guys. Thank you guys for your support, you know, deuces. Oh yeah, there'll be a link in the description for all the parts if you want to buy something. But right now, Amazon's acting kind of funny, you know, dudes chopping prices. I was going to do a whole real talk episode on that, but I might be too late on it. But I'm going to tell you about them dudes right now, because I'm kind of upset with them dudes. If you think about it, I live in New York City, right? My taxes is 8 Point seven five percent per every purchase, right? Amazon want to give you guys three percent for a purchase, so they give me less money than I'm paying in taxes. That makes no sense. Three percent ain't nothing. So Amazon, you're doing cats a disservice. You know, you acting like you're a monopoly. I don't like that. You need to fix it.